Hi and welcome to episode number 492 with whatsforchild.com and our next episode in our series on distilling. In our previous distilling episode we built a basic pot still. Today we're going to distill a batch of fermented wash and learn to make the cuts or separations between the four shots, heads, parts and tails during the run. If you have followed this series, you'll remember that sugar wash does not produce methanol and only insignificant quantities of acetones and aldehydes. For this reason, if you're distilling sugar wash, the only thing you really need to remove is the foreshot, and even this is not absolutely necessary, but it will improve the flavor of your product. Although I am using sugar wash, I am going to demonstrate the cuts as if I was using fermented mash. By mash I mean any fermented wash that contains biomatter, whether this be raisins, grain, spices or even unrefined sugar. As soon as a wash contains biomass it becomes a mash and we have larger quantities of acetone, methanol and aldehyde. These need to be removed during the distillation to ensure a safe and pleasant tasting product. Starting with the four shots or acetone. The acetone starts emerging from the still when the head temperature reaches 50 Celsius or 122 Fahrenheit. This is when you turn on your cooling pump. The calculation is simple, for every 5 litres of mash you will collect 30 millilitres of foreshot. If you are distilling 25 litre batches, you will collect 150 mils of foreshot. This acetone cannot be used for anything and is discarded. From here onwards, the distillate is collected in 100 ml fractions. These are measured using your alcohol meter as you go. The heads will contain alcohol levels of over 80%, with a large percentage of this comprising methanol or wood alcohol. When the alcohol reading drops below 80%, your collection of heads is complete. Keep these 100 ml samples separate and put them aside. Continue distilling and collecting 100 ml samples until the alcohol reading drops below 65%. This batch of samples is the good stuff and is called the hearts. These can be combined and put aside. The next lot of samples is called the tails. You will continue to collect 100 ml samples until the alcohol level drops below 20%. By this stage, the head temperature of the still will be approaching 95 Celsius or 203 Fahrenheit. Turn off the heat, but leave the cooling system running until the still cools down. Keep the 100 ml samples from the tails separate and put these aside. Cover all of the distillate samples with lint-free towels and allow this to stand overnight. This allows any unpleasant tasting volatiles to escape. The following day, sniff and taste each sample of heads and blend the decent samples with hearts in quantities that you see fit. Repeat this with the tails. Any samples that don't get blended into the finished product can be saved and added to your next distilling run. It is important to note that the head temperature of the still must not exceed 95 Celsius or 203 Fahrenheit. This is how we cut the aldehyde content out of the mix. Aldehydes smell and taste terrible and will ruin your blend. As far as the blending process is concerned, this is very much a matter of personal taste. There is no right or wrong blend. After a few batches, your nose and taste buds will become more adept and your blends will become more and more refined. Most importantly, have fun and feel free to send any questions through to me. Thanks for joining us today. Please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you again tomorrow.